today is a productive day. And generally speaking, when it's a productive day, it also means that it's a study day. Hey guys, editing Hannah here. Just FYI, I look like a founding father throughout this entire video and I didn't even realize it until I sat here and edited the entire thing. But you know what? It's the night before I'm supposed to post and it's, it's relatively good content with the exception of my founding father ponytail ensemble. Alrighty, enjoy this video. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Hannah. Today I'm going to be showing you how I study and kind of my productive day routine. It is about 1.30 now and I have not had lunch yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some lunch before I kind of get down to business and start studying essentially. Alrighty, so I am now done with lunch and I'm going to go ahead and get started with studying but one of the first things that I really like to do before I study is get my environment ready. I like to get my space ready so that it's kind of ready for me to be productive and so that I'm not tempted to just, you know, lay back in bed again. The thing that I always do whenever I get up every day is make my bed just so that I'm not tempted to get back in it and take a nap or I'm not tempted to do my homework in it. So I'm going to go ahead and make my bed real quick. Alright, so the bed is now made. The next thing that I like to do is I like to open my blinds and get some really, what is this, natural light going in my room. And that also keeps me from climbing back into bed and taking a nap. As you can see, there's a pattern. I like taking naps. I also like to turn on my lamp just because there's not a lot of light in this corner of the room. But also, I have glasses and sometimes it's hard for me to read in the dark, so... There's that. I just grabbed a drink just so that I can have something to sip. I generally just drink water or some kind of juice. And then occasionally if I feel like I need it or it sounds good, I'll make some Vietnamese iced coffee. The thing that I also love doing is wearing regular clothes while I'm studying. So like things that I would actually physically step out of the house in. So today I'm wearing my mom jeans and then just this red button down shirt that I thrifted from Goodwill. And this again just keeps me from getting sleepy and climbing back into bed. Because to be completely honest, nobody likes napping in jeans. Like, let's be real here. So before I study, I like to kind of make a list of the things that I need to get taken care of. And if you just found this channel and you don't really know anything about me, I am a senior in college right now and I'm taking 18 hours or six courses. And that's pretty much the maximum amount of credits that you can take without appealing it, which basically means that I'm busy, busy, busy all the time. It's a lot, but I am managing it and I am making it work this semester. But this next week I have three exams, one quiz and one in class essay that I have to take care of. And then I have a project that's due on Wednesday Day, which I have in class time to do and I took care of most of it last night So it is a lot but I'm going to be walking you guys through how I study for my college exam So if you've just started college and you know, it's exam week and you're kind of freaking out You're gonna do great You're gonna do fine and you're going to find the best way that you study for exams So when I make my list, I like to write down the day that I am taking care of things So today is Saturday the day before I post this video and What I like to do is I like to open up my agenda and kind of figure out where everything is in the week so that I can prioritize the things that are coming up first. So on Tuesday I have a geography exam, my quiz for my adolescent growth and development course, and an in-class essay for German. The in-class essay I can go ahead and do on Monday so I'm going to wait on that. The quiz I can probably also study for on Monday because I just have to look over a couple of things that we did in class. The exam is the one that I'm going to prioritize today. So for my geography exam I'm not given a study guide for that but I do have extensive notes and maps that I need to kind of memorize and memorize the locations of certain countries. So on my to-do list, I'm going to put like make a study guide. I also need to print out a couple of maps and then overall I need to study at least half of the study guide. I like making to-do lists because it keeps me on task and there's nothing that I love more than crossing things off my list, but it also kind of allows me to prioritize things that I need to study rather than just kind of going for the easiest thing and leaving the hardest thing to the end. I particularly like making my own study guides because I am a visual learner, but I also learn the best when I write things down. So by making my own study guide, I can kind of organize my own thoughts and organize the information 
information in a way that I like to see it. And in turn, when I'm writing down and organizing that information, I am then also studying it. But yeah, so today we're going to be focusing mainly on geography because I think that's really the only exam that I can fully study for and fully show you guys how I study for. For my geography class, I take written notes just because, again, I memorize and soak up information best once I write it down. This past unit was focused on the physical landforms, the water systems, and the human geography of South and Central America. I think the way that I'm going to break this up is do a Central America study guide and then a South America study guide just so that I can have all the information that I need for those specific areas in the world. But before I do that, I need to go print out the blank maps of those areas. Alrighty, so I got the maps so that I can go ahead and do the information and the map side by side because that was the way that my professor suggested that we study. So now that I have printed off the map, I can go ahead and cross that off my list. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put some music on. I use Spotify to listen to music and the things that I like to listen to most when I'm studying. Here, I'll just show y'all. It is definitely country. No, just kidding. It's just the, the focus playlists that they have. I like to listen to these playlists because it's generally not music that I personally listen to on an everyday basis, so I won't get distracted. Before I continue, I just wanted to show you guys how my study guides end up looking. Generally speaking, when I do a study guide, I like to label kind of what the main information that I'm going to be covering is. And I also like to color coat everything, as you can tell. So because I'm doing geography, it's really important that I color coat things just so that I can see them clearly on maps. So right now I'm putting all the information for Middle America into one singular study guide for it. I completely forgot to write landforms, so there it is. So now I know that all of the information from here up until the next title that I see will be for landforms. So here I've labeled the Sierra Madre Occidental and the Sierra Madre Oriental. So I color coded them with purple and green and then over here they have the same colors. So the Oriental is in green, the Occidental is in purple. And then right here I just put an extra note that was in my notes and I also drew a tiny little Mexico so that I can remember if I forget this for example and I only have my study guide that this is where each one is located. condensation on my paper, but that's okay. So right now I have the landforms and the river systems of Middle America completed. As you can see, I followed the same format. And then down here, there's a different color, kind of like this olive green color. And that is just notes on different topics that weren't necessarily a part of the landforms section of Middle America that I need to know for my maps, but just general information that I need to know just in case it comes up on the exam. But my laundry is ready, so I'm gonna take a quick break here so I can switch my wet laundry to the dryer and then throw in another load. Whenever I'm studying and making study guides, I always find that it's really, really important to kind of get up every now and then, walk around, just to get your blood flowing, just so that you don't get bored or um, get sick of like sitting down for too long. But now that I have another load of laundry in the washer, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the human geography for middle America. Thank you. 
Alright everybody, as you can tell, a lot of time has passed. It is no longer light outside, but it is 10 o'clock p.m. right now. And I finished both my study guides for geography about two hours ago. I think I worked from about two or three o'clock to 8 p.m. just non-stop with maybe a 30 or 45 minute break from when my roommates got home. I just realized how terrible the audio was in all the clips that I just recorded probably about an hour ago, but I'm going to record this from my phone because I'm editing right now. I finished up all of my study guides. They pretty much followed the same format as the page that I showed you. And the way that I'm going to be studying that is basically just reading through the information and trying to take as much of the information to heart as possible. And this will just require me going through it several times over just to get the gist of all the information regarding each country. A lot of this video was not me actually studying in a formal way, just making the study guides. I thought that would be something a little more interesting than just sitting there and watching me study because this is going to be a couple of days process and I am filming this the day before I have to post. The timing with the video and my exams and kind of studying for that, it just isn't right. What I really wanted to focus on in this video was just how I make my study guides, but I hope that y'all liked this video. It is something that is a little different from the content that I normally create, but college-centric videos is something that I am interested in creating, so definitely leave a comment down below if you've liked this video or you're interested in more college-related videos. But if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and hit that bell so you can get notifications every time I post a new video. I hope you'll have a beautiful week and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye guys.